2005 was the pinnacle of Formula One history for me. It was the absolute best time to be a spectator. And I was lucky enough to see them on track at Melbourne. The sheer sound and violence that comes from this era of Formula One, in this case the RB1 Red Bull Cosworth, which was powered by the Cosworth TJ2005 3 litre V10. CR Formula have been hard at work creating their very first Assetto Corsa car mod, which is based on the 2005 RB1 Red Bull car. For me this is the greatest V10 Formula 1 car mod ever created for Assetto Corsa. It takes time to master drive in this car, especially with the traction control turned off. Uh, most of the time in this video um, I had the traction control turned off. Uh, it becomes extremely rewarding guys when you drive this car uh, with no traction control. Uh, if you just get used to it, uh, it becomes so much more rewarding. It comes with three different tyre compounds. And it comes with a two-stage traction control TC1 and TC2. Uh, it's also got three engine maps as well. So we've got the low power, the uh, normal, and we've got the uh, high power engine map as well. So uh, you can use um, you know, the first engine map for uh, basically starting out and warming up tyres and then proceed to, uh, to the maximum engine. You can use it how you want, you can also use the traction control as you want. Um, I do um, recommend play with the traction control. Um, I currently basically just have it on uh, have the traction control TC1 turned off uh, and I and I have the uh, traction control 2 turned up to 9 so it's it's very very minuscule, pretty much doesn't have traction control in that setting. I just am not a fan of the sound the traction control makes on these cars. Uh, it's how they are, uh, but I'd also prefer driving these cars with no, no traction control. Um, I just like to master the throttle control uh, out of quarters. Uh, it becomes very rewarding. Uh, and that's it, guys. I'll leave a link in the description for these guys. Um, they've also got Monaco track um, download as well. Um, they are paid mods. Uh, they don't cost much. I think it cost me about five bucks um, to buy the car. Uh, for all the work that goes into it, uh, it is absolutely uh, astounding uh, the amount of work that goes into it and I do highly recommend you uh, try this car out, it is fantastic. Uh, I'm sure there'll be um, more skins uh, available, um, there are some skins you can download from them uh, via Discord, um, so basically the skins that I'm using in this video, um, you can also get that one from Discord. Uh, I'm sure other people are going to make skins for this car uh, at a later date. Um, but Guys, I'll just leave you with uh, some footage of this car. Uh, there'll be some uh, VR driving, some external, um, some above head views, and uh, I just crank it up, guys. The sound of this car makes it just phenomenal. Um, the force feedback also with this car uh, works really well through the tyres. The tyres are pretty impressive in my um, opinion. Um, just be careful with the curbs on, with these tyres. Um, but the feeling of force feedback is fantastic, especially as you go through the speed, um, low speeds to high high down force. Um, it really feels great, this car. Uh, has a really good feeling to it. Uh, highly recommend to buy it. Anyway, guys, if you like my content, leave a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more of my videos, just uh, hit the subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.